Hey guys, I'm Eric with Ferris Engineering and we'll be going over the uh, clutch fork install and uh, strength and pivot point today. We're going to start the install assuming that you've already removed the transmission and it's on the ground or a table ready to be worked on. We recommend replacing the clutch fork anytime that you install a heavier duty pressure plate than the OEM. This is because the OEM clutch fork is actually really weak and will break or bend within the bell housing so that is why we developed our own uh, forged clutch fork. We now offer um, the revised 2017 Plus GT86 or BRZ um, throwout bearing which has a higher temp grease and that comes with the actual OEM uh, clips brand new from Toyota. Um, and we also, and that, that kit will be $34.95. Uh, we also offer a strengthened pivot point right here. And that is $28.95. Moving on to the install, removing the OEM clutch fork is quite easy. Basically grab in the center of the clutch fork, wiggle side to side. That will dislodge it from the pivot here. And then you just pull it out of the bell housing. Assuming you're going to reuse the OEM clips because it, it does actually require a little bit more work, we'll go through that install. To remove the throwout bearing from the clutch fork, we'll pull on the front of the clip and pull it out. Do that on the, same, the other side, push down so that it's just resting on those two and then the throwout bearing and the clutch fork remove from one another. To remove this center clip, simply push together and pull out. Note that the orientation was the, this hump is, is down towards the, the pivot point location on the clutch fork. We recommend cleaning these if you're going to reuse them. They're already clean because we've been doing an install manual, but we will clean them thoroughly. Again, if you are if you purchased our throw bearing and clip kit, um, this is all stuff that you will not need to do. It will already be clean and, and basically a brand new part from Toyota. We are going to reinstall these clips in reverse order. Start with this, the, the center clip. Simply pop it into the slot first, squeeze it, and put it into these holes. Sometimes the needle nose pliers will help so that you can get a little bit more leverage. And as you can see, it's in each of those holes now. To install the throw bearing clips, simply thread it in through the hole and, and it'll go into the, the, the little cutout slot so that it can hang down. At this point, we will want to install grease onto the fork in three locations. Um, this, these will be places that the clutch fork comes in contact with the throwout bearing and the pivot in the bell housing. So we'll grab a little glob, throw it down into the pivot point location. And on each of the throwout bearing locations. And generally, I actually put some on the throwout bearing itself as well. This is to reduce noise um, and vibrations from the clutch fork and the throwout bearing riding on one another. Um, we definitely recommend using a high temp, high quality grease. We use Silglide. Anything that's compatible or similar will, will likely work very well. To reinstall the throwout bearing onto the clutch fork, simply place the loop on one side of each and then clip the clips down. Um, this should create a very solid feel between the throw bearing and the clutch fork. If there's a, if it's loose, we'll need to tighten this up as it got spread apart during install or, or uninstall. So it's simply take it back apart and use some needle nose pliers and, and clip this tighter so that it gets a nice solid 
connection between the two. Otherwise, you will hear some noise. If you are doing the reinforced pivot, now is the time to remove this. Grab a 19 millimeter socket and remove the pivot from the bell housing. Our strengthened pivot is a direct replacement. Simply thread it in. Using a torque wrench, torque the pivot to 12 foot pounds. To install the fork and throw bearing assembly into the bell housing, we need to put grease in one more spot which is on the inner diameter of the throwout bearing. This allows the throwout bearing to ride smoothly on the uh, input shaft sleeve here. To install the clutch fork, simply push it through the rubber. And slide it on the sleeve and then give it a little tap. And at that point, the fork end is on, now on the pivot and the fork will operate smoothly. That concludes the install of our clutch fork and pivot. I uh, hope you found it useful and informative. It's definitely highly recommended and uh, you will get a better clutch feel for it and a longer life out of your clutch and uh, the clutch fork itself. Thanks.